here's another one. It's about live betting um, from Chris. It was reported that NFL Sunday ticket will leave direct TV and move to a streaming service in 2023. Do you see the short delays caused by streaming impacting NFL live betting? Is there a way to be proactive to avoid this? Yeah, it's brutal. Um, if you're, if you, like, again, if you're a live better, you need cable. Like there's no, no YouTube TV, no streaming services to watch your games. I mean, that's tough. It's honestly, that's why a lot of guys I know, they don't even own cable. Like if they're going to go watch a game, they go to the book and that's where they live bet. Even if they're betting on their phones, they bet at the book because they want live lines. They want live plays. So to me, if, you, if you're just a fan of it and you're not going to be, you know, like some of these degenerates where it's like, I want that half a second ahead so I can get this under bet before everyone else knows this guy gets sacked. Like it, it's rare. You can pull off that half a second bet because most of these books update so quick and they, they check your bet before they approve your bet. So it's not that big of a difference as people make it out to be, but Definitely is a difference. Like if you're on a TV, that's a 14 second delay. You can get caught. You can bet on a team. All of a sudden the guy throws a pick six. And it's like, wow, I just literally live bet this guy. If I wouldn't on a 14 second delay, that, that would, that cost me some money. So yeah, the Apple TV, I'm a, I'm a fan of it, honestly, like them getting Sunday ticket to me. That's, that's great. Cause me and Chad, our job is the product of the NFL. More people are going to be able to watch that than the Sunday ticket. So that's great from that aspect, from the gambling aspect you can't lie about delays like that. If you're trying to bet real big money. Yeah. The delays are really a hindrance for live betting. And I know a lot of books would like live betting to become more of their handle and have it be akin to what's happening in Europe where live betting is upwards of 70% of the handle, but the most popular sports for live betting uh, are tennis and obviously soccer and especially with soccer, they're just more of an opportunity as games go on to make live bets just because of the sort of length of time between action. Really, really hard to do that with the NFL. Even, look, the other night, uh, earlier this year during the NBA playoffs, when the finals were happening, I was watching the finals and like one of my kids' friends who we were watching it with, um, he was trying to bet, bait me into betting whether or not a guy was going to make a free throw, but he was getting texts from a buddy about what was happening because the buddy was a little bit ahead. So <laughs> it's just really hard to manage that. Yeah, no, it's a dangerous game. 